The Karnataka Congress has questioned the Bumai led government over large electronic vehicle investment by Ola in Tamil Nadu. Now, uh, Congress's Priya Kharge has lashed out at Basavraj Bumai on Twitter, saying, and I quote, Karnataka was the first state to come up with an EV manufacturing and battery manufacturing policy. Ola investing in Tamil Nadu shows that the ease of doing business in the BJP government is a myth. Who is responsible for the loss of investments and jobs? The youth want jobs. The BJP is making them gaurakshaks. Now, we're crossing over to CNN News 18's Rithu to get us more on this. Rithu, over to you. Well, you see what the Congress spokesperson Priyank Kharge has to say now is that, uh, in fact, the Ola, uh, the EV Ola, in fact, who were planning to manufacture and came up with this uh, all unique concept here in the Bengaluru itself, but this offer does not seem to be in the hands of uh, now uh, uh, with the Karnataka there again. So that's the kind of big allegation that the Congress is raising against the BJP government. When you see now that uh, the company has planned to take over this whole uh, plan in the Tamil Nadu by investing huge amount there and bringing up their manufacturing in uh, an outlet as well. So they say that, you know, you know Karnataka has missed out and generating uh, employment opportunities for the youth as well because it's all the poor governance of the BJP which has led to this kind of a situation. So there again, the Congress is trying to raise a big question against the uh, BJP government saying that uh, the kind of loss of investment and the job that is being done right now uh, to the people of Karnataka, what exactly will the BJP government answer now with this? All right. Now, could you also tell us how this really is a problem if the if essentially if there's EV investment by Ola in Tamil Nadu, why is that a big deal for the Congress? Well, you see, in fact, the kind of amount that the Ola had the plan to invest in the Tamil Nadu is also biggest question. And also, uh, when uh, you know the whole concept had come up uh, in the Bengaluru itself, the company was planning out here in Bengaluru. They worked on their ideas in the uh, city, and this whole outlet now moving to Tamil Nadu clearly states that how uh, you know the BJP government has failed to. Uh, in fact, call these companies in the IT city and uh, come up with their outlets here. So kind of policies also that they are planning up has also been questioned by the Congress party here again because somewhere it seems that the policy are not in favor of these uh, companies which had led to this kind of a situation is what the, uh, another party has to allow there again. And also you see the Karnataka was the first state to come up with the EV manufacturing and battery manufacturing policy. So now that's the whole reason you see why the Congress is taking up this to a next level and asking in BJP government for being responsible for the loss of the investment and the uh, jobs now that, you know, uh, they're again, uh, youth in fact are uh, not able to get the proper employment opportunities in the IT city as well. So BJP is making them all, uh, you know, power access is what the Congress had to allege. Now you remember Priyank Sarge has always been on toes to allege this against the BJP government that, you know, the BJP government is involving the youth moreover into cover up church work and not towards the uh, education or for the other better uh, development of the city. All right, Ritu, do stay with us. We're actually being joined by Congress's Priyank Kharge right now on the line. Mr. Kharge, thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18. Can you explain why it's a problem for Ola to essentially invest in EVs in Tamil Nadu? We don't have any uh, problem with uh, mm -hmm. companies uh, going to Tamil Nadu. We have a problem with companies that have been born, brought up, and cut their teeth as a unicorn uh, from Bangalore going to Tamil Nadu. That means we are not providing a conducive environment for their further growth, right? I mean, we have a policy. Uh, we have a. We were the first in the country to come out with a EV policy. We were the first in the com uh, country to come out with a battery manufacturing policy. We were the first in the country to understand uh, how important EVs will be in the future. And uh, we have uh, we have done policies, but unfortunately, the companies that have uh, have uh, been born and bred in uh, Bangalore are leaving the state. That's what hurts. They're having the biggest EV manufacturing in Asia, EV vehicle manufacturing in Asia, with 10,000 women employees. And uh, why is it that they're leaving? The government should answer that, right? All right. Now, but then how do you think, okay, so how do you expect the BJP government to respond to this? Uh, they have to fire, let, uh, let, uh, let the people know who is responsible for the job loss, who is uh, responsible for the uh, loss of investments. 
I mean, see, let us assume that uh, you are a, uh, you are a manufacturing company, and all the states are pitching in, are giving their uh, investment pitch decks to you, and then you choose. That's a, f- a fair competition, and uh, we lose. We have no problem with that. But when we already have the company in uh, in Karnataka, we already they, they, we have a working relationship with them. But the company leaves Karnataka and goes to another state for whatever reason. The people, uh, the government should answer, right? Are they providing a conducive environment for business? Is ease of doing business a myth in Karnataka? Is this government, or did the government harass them and send them? What were, what was the reason? Why will they? All these years they were here in Bangalore. They get provided employment. We provided a conducive policy for them, for growth. Why did they leave? And I think. So Tamil Nadu is essentially, it accounts for nearly a third of the country's automo- automotive exports. That's why they're looking to boost EV manufacturing. Uh, let's say, now, if Ola does plan to invest in the state of Karnataka, then you will, of course, change your stance on this, correct? See, there, we, this is not the first investment that is going out. Okay, we also had the first mover advantage in the iPhone manufacturing segment, uh, the iPhone manufacturing, mobile manufacturing segment. But now, again, we have lost that out to uh, Tamil Nadu. We have lost that out. Uh, the Tata Foxconn thing is coming in, in Hosur itself. The other OEMs are going to Chennai. So why is it that the first mover advantage that Karnataka has is being lost to other states? Is all my question to the state government. I can understand that we, have, we, we, we are in an uh, investment conclave where we are pitching against each other, we are fiercely competitive against each other. The states are fiercely competitive. And I lose out to that kind of uh, competition. I have no problem with that. But when we have a policy, when we have the first mover advantage, when we have a working relationship with an established company, why are they moving out? So what do you think the Karnataka that government went, needs to do to make the environment more conducive then? I think they need to have a dialogue. Are they having a dialogue only for their 40% or are they having a dialogue for growth? Is it the growth of the company? Is there, are they talking, having a dialogue for job creation? Are they having a, job, uh, a dialogue for investments? Or are they just having a dialogue for their election purposes? That is what they need to come out and tell us. Why did they, why did they go? These are the companies that with a lot of difficulty that uh, we brought in when we were in uh, power. You will not believe me. I gave a presentation at 12.30 a.m. in uh, Vidhan Sauda uh, to uh, uh, the Apple manufacturing uh, OEMs in America. 12.30 a.m. What kind of uh, commitment do these people have? Let them come out in the open and uh, uh, let the people of Karnataka know why jobs are not being created. All right, Mr. Priyank Karge, thank you so much for joining, joining us and for telling us more about this and your perspective on this. Now,